Select the Lithology Fence option. Select and expand the Use Existing Model option. We're going to use the model created during the previous exercise because lithologic models can take a long time to interpolate. Enter the name of the numeric model created during the previous exercise, which was lithology1.rwmod. Turn off all the options except for include lithology legend, plot logs, and include volumetrics. Given that we turned on the plot logs option, we should also click on the 3D strip log designer tab to make sure that the diagram will include the types of logs that we want to include. Turn off everything except for the title, axis, and lithology. Now, we need to define the fence panel locations, so click on the Fence Selection Map tab. Minimize the Rules and Filters panel. Click on the Column Reduction icon to decrease the size of the menu columns. This will give us some more space within the work area. Click on the Clear button to remove the previously selected fence panel locations. Instead of clicking on the panel endpoints, let's try one of the predefined configurations titled Grid. The parameters for this grid are defined within the Options menu, but we'll leave that for you to explore on your own. Instead, let's press the Process button and create a fence diagram. Use the scale setting to enlarge the diagram. Click on the background color button. Select black as the background color. Now let's adjust the legend position by expanding the legends option and double clicking on the lithology option. Set the horizontal offset to 0.03 and the vertical offset to minus 0.5. The legend no longer overplots the diagram. Now, expand the lithology fence object within the Rockplot 3D data tree and experiment with turning panels on and off. Select the Rockplot 3D File Save option and save the diagram as lithologyfence.rw3d. Finally, and just for the fun of it, select the File Append option. Select the lithologymodel.rw3d diagram that we created within the previous exercise. Turn off or delete the extra lithology legend that was imported along with the lithology model. Double click on the lithology model object to adjust its properties. Set the opacity to 25%. Set the filter to 4 so that we'll only see the clay voxels. This is a useful tool for highlighting a unit of interest such as a channel sand while still showing the other units within the fence panels.